Back at Camden Yards. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Baltimore Orioles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And on the hill in this one, Kyle Gibson. What should we keep an eye on here? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Okay, all set to go. And here's the first baseman, Nick Prado. And a pitch. That's off the mark. And away we go this afternoon. First pitch, 136. The wind and the pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And makes the grab. One away. Batting second. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. For Salvi and Tommy John surgery, it seems like more and more position players are having Tommy John surgery. Remember, Corey Seager had it, Didi Gregorius, Travis Darno, just to name a few. Yeah, he bounced back pretty well from it. He became the comeback player of the year in 2020, the second Royals player to win that award. The other one was Mike Moustakis, his former teammate back in 2017. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Two outs, bases empty. MJ Melendez getting ready to hit. That one the other way and makes the play, and that's out number three. KC down in order. Orioles do up in the first, no score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in Baltimore and on the hill, Mike Myers. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year as evidenced by that inflated whip, but he's gonna have to find a way to limit the base runners Put his Lead team in a position to win a ball game. So we know That's he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch Gunner how he works Henderson. in this one. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. And there's a strike of the outside corner going one. Come on, that one missing one inside. Next offering way off strike. the plate. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Left-hand batter waits. Fights it off. He'll see another. The 3-2 yeah, yeah. is off the outside Perfect. edge, and that is ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before Leading the game. We've seen him give up walks really. in the past, the and it's an way. issue once again yeah, early yeah. on. Anthony Come Santander on. Yeah. at the plate. Ball one, ball no one, strikes. No strike.
Riding to the plate. Hey. Pickoff move to first, oh, he's and he's back in safely. Here's a 1-1. And it's fouled away. Henderson on at first. Nobody out. And that's just foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now it's Austin Hayes. And they're at the knees. Strike one. Kicks and deals. One and one. Swing and a miss. Looked off Two balance three. that time. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Fights that one away, still one and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And first offering is fouled off. Now, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Move over to first, try to keep him close. Two outs. There's the strike. And one, one and two. Two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Got him swinging. And the Orioles leave one. Scoreless after one. Back now at Oriole Park. Now here's boy, Bobby right? Witt Jr. All around, Bobby I think if you asked Witt anyone Jr. in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. That's First offering misses the mark. Bobby Witt Jr., a second-generation big leaguer. His dad won 142 games in the show. The Royals made Bobby Jr. the number oh, two overall pick. In the 2019 draft, right after Adley Rutschman, and he made his debut in 2022, finished behind Julio Rodriguez, Rutschman, and Stephen Kwan for Rookie of the Year. Great crop of rookies. Next pitch is outside. And there's the automatic. The three one drilled in the air right field way back there and that is out of here a shot to the opposite field and they jump ahead in the second it's one nothing.
knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. And that's in there for strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. That's down and in. And a ball in two strikes. This to third. Over to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving Got up the homer. The left fielder. Edward, Edward Olivares. Olivares. Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. Oh yeah, Foul ball there. Is he a one? On the ground at first. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. You're the throw out. is still in time, and they do get the out. Drew Waters stands in. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Inside, just missed. Ball. Next one misses, two and one. Two, one. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. Royals strike first on this solo homer. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Aaron Hicks. The center fielder. Aaron Hicks. Myers back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. Set down on strikes. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Righty delivers. That clips the corner. No balls, two strikes. Swings 
Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. Back there. And out of here. Third home run of the season. And we're level. It's 1-1. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Here's Adam Frazier. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. One down, base is empty. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Back to back base hits. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Josh Lester, the next to hit for the Orioles. In there, and it's 0-1. One. One. Frazier stands at first with one out. Comes up empty oh, on the swing, 0-2 now. I think he was sitting off speed there. And one. now one and two. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. That's inside. Three and two. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. That one drilled left field. He makes the grab. That's out number two. Batting nine. The catcher. James McCann. James McCann in now. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Inside oh, just inside. missed. McCann fouls one off. The two on. Base hit, center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now here is Gunnar Henderson. And fouled off. First and second, two down. And that one fouled off. And 
And the righty deals. Just oh, off the inside. inside corner. It's a ball and two strikes. Next pitch has popped up. Lopez makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Solo homer brings in one for Baltimore. All even at one apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the no, inning. Here's a speed threat, number 11. Mike Feels Mike. like it's less Mike. common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. Hit weakly on the ground. Zips it across and one away in the top of the third. Batting up, up. the third baseman, Nicky Lopez. Lopez. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is fouled back. And strike two. And it's even Inside, up. Inside, ball two. And now it's filled up. Wait. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. And it hits the fence. And he'll make it into third with a triple. Up next to the Royals. That pretty much split the, the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Nick Prado. Flied to right his first time. Nope. And takes low for ball one. Counts one and oh. Runner on at third, one gone. Jack Swing went around, yeah, one and it's one, one and one. The pitch and a count one and two. And he deals. Base hit into right center. Runner from third comes across and a 2 1 ball game now. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And now, Salvador Perez. Salvi oh, is a good. star in Kansas City. He debuted with the Royals as a 21-year-old, helped them win a World Series in 2015. In fact, he did more than help. He ended up being the World Series MVP. Prado over at first with one away. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And they get Perez for the out. Two down. Up next to the Royals. The right fielder, 
MJ. MJ Melendez, Melendez steps in for the Royals. 0 for 1 so far. That's in for a strike. Gets the outside corner with that one. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the 2 Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Next one is off the plate. And it's two and two. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. Santander. Santander getting the start in right. Batting second in today's lineup. And he was born in Venezuela. And first offering is fouled off. Strike two. Oh, and two. And a pitch. Well, and there's a ball. Now, Foul tip. Oh, that got our umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. And here it comes. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Anthony Santander knocks one out. Home run number 10 of the year. It's 2-2. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So next to hit for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Went down on strikes his first time through. Check swing didn't go. And that's ball one. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Next pitch is outside. And it's 2-0. and oh. Myers. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Waters makes the grab on the run. Now, well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. O'Hearn takes oh, a ball as he stands in for the second time.
and a 1-1. Check swing, that? tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. The one two. And another ball. Good eye right there. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Caught looking his first time up. He swings and fouls one off. Now the 0-1. And a strike in there. Don't play situation here. Okay, He's been down. working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. At the belt and fires. Nope. Just ball missed. One. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Nope. Up and in, two balls, two strikes. And that one is inside. Three, two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Ramon Urias now at the plate. The solo homer his first time. And a foul ball. Urias measures 5 feet 10 inches, 28 years old. And he won a gold glove last season. And the pitch. And ball one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. On the ground to first. He handles it himself, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. 2-2 game. Back here in Baltimore, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Bobby Witt Jr. Gibson back to work. There's a strike. Well, these Royals do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game.
kicks and deals. And now the count filled up three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch and I tell you what he earned that wall. Go ahead run on base and now Michael Massey grounded out his first time up. That's a strike and it's 0 and 1. One ball, and a one pitch strike. out, but nothing going on. The 1-1. One, one. Nope, outside. Witt gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Gibson checks on the oh, runner, he's and he's back in standing. The pitch. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the go. Bounce to the right side. Frazier on he's the first out. in time. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. The bat. The, bat. the left the field. Edward, Edward Olivares, Olivares steps in for the Royals. Grounded out his first time. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. And the first ball pitch right misses down. for ball one. Ball and that's two. down it away. One out and a runner at second. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Man at second. That one fouled off. Runner leads away at second. Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Popped up. Henderson pulls it down and they're two away. Up next to the Royals. The center field. And to the plate for Kansas City, Drew Waters. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That hey. one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 1's the count. And the right hander deals. Now oh, one and one. That one no. missed. Inside. Sliced hard, but foul. And now two and two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Pitch misses and a full count now. Number 11 next up for Kansas City. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Urias brings it in, and the inning is over. Royals leave one. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, and into the box for Baltimore, Adam Frazier. The right-hander back to work. Ball. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. 
Bullpen action for the Royals. Jose Quas, the young right-hander, up and throwing. The 1-0. Swings through that. One and one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. One, two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. The pitch. Out towards left center. Dives. What a play. Up next for the Orioles. The first base. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there, and he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. So up next, Josh Lester. In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. That one hit to right. Melendez drifts towards it. And there's two away. Up next are the Orioles. The catcher. Here is James McCann. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. That one misses. And it's one to know. Ground ball up the middle. Fires over to first. And that is the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And this game is still tied at two and two. Back now at Oriole Park, Leading ready now Garcia. for the fifth it's inning. It's and now it's going to be Michael number 11. Garcia. And a pitch. Yeah. That's in there, and that's strike one. Well, these Royals need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. You really can't pin it on one player hey. because we've seen soft contact up and no down this lineup. Back. It's time to make some adjustments because this approach is just off. Next pitch is outside. The cause for these struggles is a little different for each guy. For some, it's timing, and for others, it's mechanics. Whatever it is, they need to start hitting the ball harder. That's pitch ball. misses there. It's two and two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And now it's three and two. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air right field. Santander makes the grab one down. Now that is the third baseman. Now the third baseman, Nicky Lopez. He tripled and scored his first time. And that Whoa, one just man. misses a ball and no strikes. Out to short. Zips it to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now batting the first base baseman, Nick, Nick Prado. So two down now, and here is Nick Prado. Hey. 
strike. Here's the strike. Oh and one. A little out front no there as he swings strike. through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch oh, is outside. 0-2 oh, fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Left-hand hitter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Royals go down one, two, three. Score remains two, two. New pitcher now, Jose Quas. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 74, Jose Quas. Here's the shortstop at Leading the play. Off. Gunner Jordan Henderson. The shortstop. Chris, you played here in 2002. Henderson. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's already homered here in this one. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. First nope. pitch just misses. Ball one, no strikes. There's a swing and a drive. Gone! He'll touch them all, and it gives him the lead in the fifth. It's 3-2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. First offering, oh, and it just misses. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Waters under this one and puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. Up next for the, the Orioles. Orioles. The Two outs, base is empty. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Just missed. And that one fouled off. Next Open. offering is down low. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Out number three. Solo Homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back. And here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. The why to kick the pitch. Whoa. And downstairs.
Misses outside, outside. ball two. Movement in the Orioles bullpen. CNL Perez is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Welts, a right-hander, loosening up as well. And a pitch. Oh, great grab on the dive. Throw to first, and very nicely done for the out. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy on the mound. Now it's the right fielder, M.J. Melendez. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Henderson over to Got first it. in time. And a couple of quick outs. The batter, the batter number, number seven, seven. Designated, designated hitter, hitter. Bobby, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. All in one now. Slice down the right side. Two outs. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Three up, three down that time. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Orioles three and the Royals two. Welcome back, Darren Hicks now. Quas, 28 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Quas, back to work. Ball. Off the mark there, and that's ball one. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Nick Wickren preparing to come on if needed. Yeah, and the 1-0. -oh. That's ball two. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. Ball, Misses outside. with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Ah. And now 3-1. and one. The 3-1. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him Leading first base off. with a quick four, free four, pass. The third Here's the third baseman, baseman Ramon Urias. Urias. Oh, Ramon Urias, spectacular defender, won a gold glove in 2022 and became the first Orioles third baseman to win a gold glove since, you know who, boo? Manny Machado? That's right, in 2015. Check on the runner. Hicks no, back in on a dive. First pitch, and he just misses. And a foul ball, third base side. Right-handed reliever. Just off the outside edge. Left field. And there's one down. Now that second, second baseman, baseman, Adam, Adam Frazier. Frazier. And next for the Orioles, Adam Frazier. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. On the corner for a strike. 0 and 1. Ball oh. one there. Hicks at first, one gone. Oh. 
Next offering is downstairs. Right through there for a strike. The 2 2 now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left hand batter waits. Rolled over to third. Lopez. Slings to first. Frazier retired. And now the first now baseman, now Josh first Lester. Baseman. Josh. Lester. And first offering is fouled off. And the slider catches the zone. To the right side, Massey tosses to first, and that is that. One left for the Orioles, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Back here in Baltimore, we go to the top of the seventh. So up now for Kansas City, Michael Massey. Here comes a pitch. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Swung on, popped up left side. And it drops in. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. I love the approach to handling that cutter on the inside corner. Didn't hit it hard, but he kept his hands tight to the body and just took that barrel directly to the baseball, and that's what allowed him to spray it out there and find a hole somewhere. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. That'll be it for Kyle Gibson, and he leaves with the lead after giving them some decent innings. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a moment. Tyler Wells taking over on the mound. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. No outs, runner at first. Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. There's a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Lifted in the air down the left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The Anything but pretty right there. But he'll take it every time. Good bad ball hitting right there. Just kind of threw the barrel at the ball. Trying to protect with two strikes. And sometimes it works out well for you. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Waters in the box now. Take strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Ball one. That one misses. One ball, one strike. Good eye right there. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. The pitch. 
Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. No, he held up. Three, two now. Struck him out looking. Froze him with the heater at the knees. Now bad at it. Number 11 steps in for the Royals. Garcia. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And that's in there for strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So first and second with two outs. And here is Nicky Lopez. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hayes has it sized up. Makes the catch inning over. Royals strand a pair. They're down three to two. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please join us for the for traditional, traditional seventh inning stretch. stretch. Back here at the ballpark, Leading bottom of the inning, and the now the catcher Royals. comes up to him. James McCann. James McCann. The pitch. That yeah. clips the zone. It's 0 1. Next offering is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One out. Some great baseball history here in Baltimore, and obviously those great teams led by Jim Palmer and the skipper Earl Weaver. Obviously so many great players. Brooks Robinson in third, Frank Robinson back in the day, and then Eddie Murray and Cal as well. The pitch. Smash to the left side. Two up, two down. He's out. I was told before I came to play in Baltimore that you're going to be around the best fans in baseball. Those names that you mentioned, they had success on the field. I played here one year. And still, when I come back to visit, I'm recognized in this city. Oh, he hit him. Perfect. And that got him pretty flush. Boog, do you uh, have any memorable hit-by-pitches yourself? Maybe oh, hey. high school, college? Hey. No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. And first offering is fouled off. I think one of the other things about coming here, they do such a good job of honoring their baseball history. The warehouse out in right field, the statues... Oh. Really just the entire ballpark reeks of history. Makes you feel like you're in the middle of a museum while you're watching a game. 1-1 one, one now. And a foul ball. Here's a 1-2. Bounced up the middle. Throws to first. And that is the inning. And the Orioles leave one. But they're up 3-2. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Danny Coulomb. He's Ladies got a wicked breaking ball right, in his arsenal, please. and it's definitely now one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Number 54, Jenny. 
Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Nick Prado. The first base, Nick Prado. And the pitch. And a foul ball. The tying run at the plate. Hey. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Felix Bautista. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. And here it comes. Mm, just misses there. One man, ball. oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Got him! Now one away. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Now it's going to be Salvador Perez. Ball one, no strikes. Slider clips the zone. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. And that's in the dirt. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. MJ Melendez on deck for the Royals. And a 3 1 on the way. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And now the lefty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. The 3-2 oh, cool. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Melendez in the box now. Take strike one. Next pitch downstairs. Yeah, the count even one and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next Good offering ball. way One off strike. the plate. Ball and that's three. downstairs and outside. All in this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boog. Bobby Witt Jr. waits on deck. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Kicks and deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. One run game. One out. One on. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Hat 
checks and misses. It's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. The pitcher on here, Keegan Aiken. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. So here's the Royals DH. Bobby Witt Jr. A strikeout and a walk. There's a strike at the knees. 0-1. Typically the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front. Make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Chopped left side. Over to first. That's the third out. Nice work from the Baltimore pen there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Orioles three and the Royals two. Nick Wickgren comes on now. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Nick Wickgren. Well. One run game, stepping in, Ryan O'Hearn, known for his late inning heroics. The pitch. There's the strike up high, and it's 0-1. And ball one. Out to short. Whips it to first on the run. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The center, the center fielder, fielder, number 34, Aaron, Aaron Hicks. Hicks. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Hey. It's the slider in there for a strike. Bullpen action for the Royals. Austin Cox, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The punch hey. out there, two out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Ramon Urias will hit next. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bounce to the left side and foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. High fly ball down the left field line. Olivares chasing after it. Tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. Nothing doing this time around for the O's, but they still lead it 3 2.
Coming out for the Orioles, Felix Bautista. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Righty to the plate. There's the strike of the knees. On the corner for a strike. And the one two misses to even the count. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. The next Beautiful. offering misses, and it's 3 and 2. Edward Olivares next up for Kansas City. Swings and misses, struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Well, the first batter, now it's always out. a big Let one for the closer. I mean, Edward you get that punch out, Olivares. you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Line drive. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two away. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there and just going to have to sit on it. Waters stands in now and watches strike one. Down to their final strike. Ball. Good eye in that right, spot. Dude. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Boils that one and it remains two and two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 3-2 the final score as the Orioles win this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.